I don't get you. Maybe not you, but some of you, right? I, I don't I don't get you. It's either I love too many things too much and I love everything or I criticize one thing and I'm a hateful person and I hate everything. Today's video, I reacted to the newest Demon Slayer episode. I wasn't a big fan of it. And I wanted to be honest about that. I wanted to give y'all a good video, an entertaining video, but also be honest because I feel like I'm super positive all of the time. Like I don't dislike anything. But every now and then I dislike something and I feel like I'm criticized for that. When I do my anime openings reactions, sometimes I don't like it uh, an opening and then I'm criticized for not liking that opening. But then I'm overly criticized about loving everything. It's crazy. It's a crazy world, especially in this anime fandom where I feel like you have to love everything. And if you hate one thing or dislike or criticize one thing, you're retarded. So let me show y'all an example, right? Today's upload, Demon Slayer episode. I wasn't a big fan of it. Not because there's no boom, boom, pow, pow. I don't need boom, boom, pow, pow. I don't need constant fighting, constant action and effects and sparkles and explosions and fire and water and clone jutsu. I don't need all of that. One of my favorite stories of all time, Vinland Saga season two, is criticized because it's not like season one. Season one is the action, Thorfinn's always killing and murdering, and the season two comes and it's all about peace, finding peace within yourself. Not a lot of action, there's action, but not a lot of it, and it's criticized for that. It's my favorite season of all time. Love it, connect with it so much. Thorfinn, probably my top three characters of all time. The moments in Attack on Titan, the episodes of Attack on Titan when there's barely any action and it's just characters in a room. For example, the Memories of the Future episode with Eren and Grisha and Zeke, my bad, Zeke. Best episode of all time, there's barely action in that episode. It's all about talking, moments, memories. I don't need boom boom pow pow. I have ADHD, but it doesn't apply to how I enjoy my movies, TV shows, anime, music, I don't need constant action. But then I get criticized for that in the comments. People don't want to watch one minute of my video where I explain that I don't need that to enjoy. I just, I'm not a fan of the episode. I feel like it was, it could have been just five minutes long and we could have continued somewhere else. You know what I mean? It just feels like a filler episode. Bro cannot handle two episodes without battles. Imagine if you watched all the filler in Naruto. Jesus. This is not only a training arc, but also the only part of the entire story in four seasons where you actually get the characters interacting and getting some depth behind them. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. Oh, so I'm supposed to dick ride everything. I'm not supposed to criticize anything. I'm the biggest fan of Kendrick Lamar, my favorite artist of all time. Every single song I am supposed to love and deep throat that shit. I'm not allowed to say that song's a little mid. I don't like that song. It's boring. I'm not allowed to say that because I'm a big fan of his. I should just stop listening to him because I don't like that single song. We can see people that didn't care about characters in this arc and just want action. It's not even that I don't care about the characters. I want to see the characters. I want to see Igudo or Obanai. I want to see uh, 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 what's his name? Sonami. I want to see the praying guy. I want to see all of these people. I still call him the praying guy because we haven't seen him yet. You know what I mean? Like, barely have seen him. I want to see these characters. I want to. I so desperately want to. Of course, I want to see this whole Infinity Castle. People refer it to, like, reference it as, like, the Shibuya arc of Demon Slayer. But I'd love to see these scenes where we get to develop these other Hashra. I would love that. New anime fans have severe ADHD, I swear. Like, they don't know the joys of a buildup and the absolute blast you get when you see what the buildup leads to. Like, Gohan turning SSJ2 was one of the peak moments in anime history, which had a crazy buildup, which everyone watching it just got mind blown. It's not about ADHD. I even just said it. Like, I don't care if it's just two characters talking. At least make the conversation interesting. I feel like what we saw in this episode was more of the same. It's something we've seen before extended into 25 minutes when it could have just been like two or three minutes long. This just further proves that shows like this are wasted on ADHD kids. I don't know what this obsession is with people saying that it's an ADHD problem when it comes to criticizing Demon Slayer. I feel like you're allowed to criticize something if you're not enjoying it. I do think the show is overly criticized. I do think... Some people just hate it to hate it because it's super popular. But I also believe that there's valid reasons to criticize the anime. 
because it's so overhyped, because it's so regarded as one of the best and one of the most popular stories of all time where everybody watches it. I feel like that gives it more of a reason to criticize it. You know what I mean? Like, why is it so loved? And I understand why it's so loved. I understand these characters are so lovable. To me, it was just an unnecessary episode and I didn't like it. But I'm supposed to like it. I'm supposed to love it. I'm not supposed to be honest. I'm supposed to dick ride and swallow every single thing. No. I don't get that at all. I never understood that. I never understood that with video games. I never understood that with movies. Uh, artists, like, you're supposed to love everything. And that's just not me. I'm going to criticize things. And I just don't get it when I'm, I'm criticized for loving everything. When I'm vocal sometimes. I feel like I'm one of these reaction channels that has an opinion. You know what I mean? And, and, and I don't want to, like, shoot anyone else down. I don't want to shoot any of the channels down. But I promise you, all these other channels are going to like explode over this episode when that's not how they really feel. And if that's how they really feel, that's how they really feel. But what I'm saying is I feel like a lot of them are not going to voice how they truly feel because of this type of backlash. Because they're supposed to love everything. Or the fandoms are going to come for their neck and slay them down like a demon themselves. No, I don't like that at all. I feel like... If you love something, you should be a little critical. You should, you know what I mean? Like, like if you're with someone you love, you don't want to just gaslight them. You don't want to just love them like, like, and never say something they've done wrong. You want to point out sometimes when they did something wrong. And that's what I'm doing with Demon Slayer. I love Demon Slayer. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the moments. I love the animation. I love the uh, effort the studios put into the story and uh, into what they've created for us. But because I love it, that's why I tend to criticize it sometimes because I want it to be better. I want it to fix these problems. Not that it could be fixed. It's adapting a material that's already finished. But you know what I mean. It's not supposed to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. I even criticize Attack on Titan sometimes. Even though I think it's the perfect show. But like I said, man, Attack on Titan, its best moments are moments that have no fighting involved. And I feel like that's where we fail or where fandoms fail as a community, or if, as a fandom itself. If you're a fan of something, you shouldn't love it like that to the point where you don't criticize it. Same thing with, like, K-pop. It becomes like K-pop fans, where you're not allowed to say a single bad thing about these artists. You're supposed to love them unconditionally, no criticizing. They are fucking masterpieces, perfect people. No, they're not. They're just as human as you and I. They make their mistakes. They had their own demons inside of them, but y'all don't want to acknowledge that. We just want to have everything be sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and everything is perfect and a masterpiece and a 10 out of 10. Nah, man, that's just not how it works and that's just not who I am. And I really admire and love those that stick up for me and say they admire that I'm honest about my feelings and my thoughts. These are just my opinion and my thoughts. If you love the episode, if you love something that I'm criticizing, I'm not here to tell you not to like something. That's not my objective. My objective is to be honest with you with how I feel about what, what I'm watching. I'm not going to give the opinion or reaction that you want me to give. I'm going to give myself. And that's what I pride myself being with this channel. You know, when I did K-pop reactions and shit, I wasn't always able to be my true self. But with anime, I'm able to. I feel like there's more people that understand honesty. Like, this isn't a normal Twitter complaint. Demon Slayer bad. I'm actually explaining reasons why I didn't like an episode, and I still get shit for that. I just don't understand. I don't get it. Wouldn't you rather someone be honest about something you love rather than gaslight and say, Oh, I love the episode! Yeah! Like, would you prefer that? That's fake. And y'all always want to call me a fake reaction channel. Meanwhile, I'm one of the ones that are being the most real, I believe. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say before I just go somewhere I don't want to go. But maybe I'll say that for a future time. Aight, I'm out. Sayonara.